My name is uh, Stephen Trigg. I'm an orthopedic hand surgeon at Mayo Clinic, Florida, and I subspecialize in uh, reconstructive surgery of the hand, wrist, and elbow. Today I wanted to talk about something that's actually quite common in our practice, and that is arthritis of the basal thumb joint. The thumb is a unique digit in the hand. It's really the workforce. Um, the, hand, the thumb alone does about half the work of the hand, and most of the things that we have constructed for our, uh, us to use in our hands as human beings, but dating back to our, our distant ancestors, basically assumes you have the thumb. Assumes you have a thumb. The joint in question is this small joint at the base of the thumb. And uh, actually, uh, the forces through this small joint are quite tremendous relative to its size. For instance, turning a key in a lock may take about 10 pounds of pinch force to actually turn the key in the lock. But at the moment you're doing that, this small joint can see upwards of 100 if to a, more than 100 pounds of pinch force. So all day long throughout the thousands of cycles of grisp, grip and um, grass in the course of a normal day, this thumb joint uh, sees quite a lot of uh, activity. So why doesn't it wear out in everybody? And that's, uh, that's a question that's puzzled uh, orthopedic researchers. And unfortunately, it is more common to have arthritis at the base of the thumb in women by about three to four times more commonly. Women always say it's because they work harder. But if you look at the way men are the machinists and the mechanics and the electricians, and certainly that's changing, if it was based on activity alone, we would uh, think that men and women would be at least equal, but that's not the case. I have an x-ray here of showing um, what arthritis in a rather severe case looks like. Normally there should be a normal joint space, that's the cartilage at the end of the bone, and this part of the wrist doesn't show much arthritis at all. But when we look at the base of the thumb, we see that the joint surface is actually quite distorted. And this person has essentially bone on bone grinding as they, uh, as the, which has developed over time. Common treatment for this are the oral NSAIDs, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. Um, and when that doesn't work, we will frequently inject this joint with a corticosteroid preparation. These, uh, these injections actually work quite well in, in the earlier stages, uh, but you can't do it too often. About twice a year, once every six months, is, is about the most that the patient should um, expect. If that doesn't work, then you have to consider other options. There are many treatments that are people are trying, both in the, uh, in the pharmaceutical world, but also in, the, in, the heal, in other healing arts. Acupuncture actually works quite well, and we do have some acupuncturists at the Mayo Clinic that will try acupuncture if the patient does not want to consider surgery. It works pretty well, but it's something that you have to keep up with. Unfortunately, most insurance companies don't cover acupuncture, and this can be a problem from an expense standpoint. When a patient has had injections and tried splinting, therapy, and tried all sorts of other treatments, generally they come to me for a consideration of surgery. There are several different types of operations that we will consider when we talk about arthritis of the base of the thumb joint. You can f actually, in the earlier stages and in younger patients with, that are higher demand, you can actually fuse this bone, the metacarpal, to this smaller bone, the trapezium. The problem is that when many patients, such as this patient, presents, they actually have arthritis around all three sides of the bone called the trapezium. And again, that's this small bone right here. When that occurs, actually, the recommended procedure and what we have the greatest success with is that you remove this bone we, in other words, you excise that at the time of surgery, and we borrow a portion of a very stout tendon here in the wrist called the flexor carpi radialis. And we use that to suspend the thumb so that when you pinch and grasp, you're no longer forcing bone on bone, but the, the 
the pinch strength is restored and because the arthritis, the arthritic part of the joint is no longer grinding on each other, the patient's pain is greatly removed. This is an outpatient procedure and generally the patients are allowed to resume all normal activities around the six week. Most of the time it takes upwards of about three months before the patients can go back to golf or working in the garden and things like that. But it's a very effective procedure. It's been around a long time and uh, it's probably the most commonly performed operation in North America and around the world today. You say, well, why should we have that sort of operation when there's all sorts of new materials, ceramics, metals and plastics, biologic implants, and things like that? All of these have been tried, and, I, and my partner and I continue to use many of these things. However, the track record has not been as good as this operation, which has been around for nearly 50 years. It doesn't wear out that we know of. I've had patients that have uh, are 20 years post-operative and are very active. So this is a really good operation and I want you to uh, consider that if you have uh, pain, a painful arthritic joint that is affecting your life.